Yeah, the fact that also this guy keeps going into the enemy bit. Oh my god, are you serious? Yes! 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 Oh my god, the Germans took it. They're like, guys, we finally got one. We got one of these suckers. Now it's time for the Allied artillery to get Allied artillery. Hello everyone, this is a great shot one seven here bringing you another CH2 replay. This one brought to you by oh wait, yeah, I'm doing that because you guys will figure it out real quick who this is from. Out of everyone on this list, who do you think submitted this to me? Actually, I'm gonna try a week with all my Patreon supporters of them saying me replay. So if you sent me a replay recently, you're a Patreon supporter, you have a high chance of it being showing or showing up. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. In any case, we have Nibboy Ace, Sean Profile, Rig, Chief. Gore and Riddler, two British, an American, a Soviet, two OKW, and two Vermok. Oh boy. In any case, double check their ranks real quick. And by the way, if you if you are not new to, or I guess if you're new to Grayshaw Productions, you don't know, it's Ace. Ace is literally one of my Patreon supporters, and Sean and them are also featured on my channel quite a bit. So, again, kind of shows that of who that would be. Oh, yeah, and also he's Australian, so in case you're wondering why he's that. Don't worry, Ace is American, you know, kind of balances things out. Um, actually, fun fact, I just learned this. Apparently, back at the end of World War I, a country put in a equal rights bill to treat all people equally. That country was Japan. And the two countries that striked it down from being implemented, like, around the world were the United States... And Australia. Now, I wonder why those two countries specifically would not want uh, racial equality. Mm. I wonder why. Just unfortunate things you learn about America with history. But, uh, moving on to the present. Oh boy. Uh, I also want to give a quick public service announcement in the middle of this nice little firefight between two MGs. Most likely the Germans will lose this because Vickers is better. Fighting position and British line side to throw fire. Well, not fire grenades, but normal grenades. Um, rifle grenades specifically, and universal carrier providing sport of fire, probably gonna go pretty well. But in any case, this is your public service announcement that if you or a loved one are thinking of going to go see the new Hellboy movie, what you might want to do instead to to equate what you would go through would be to buy he or she or yourself some pepper spray and then spray it into your eyes, and you'll probably have an equally enjoyable experience for those few hours. No, it is, no, no, don't do that. It's, Pepper Spray is terrible. Oh, good mortar, though. But it's bad. It is a really, really bad movie. Oh, my God. Not as bad as the Godzilla movie, but, dear Lord, I was cringing the entire time. Like, wow, they said that. Wow, they stole that. Wow, they used that. Okay. Wow, they did another sequel bait with a character that is infinitely better than any character in this movie. Can you guess who that is? Also, if you've seen the trailer, you've seen the movie. They literally put in, like, the last 30 minutes into the movie. So, just a heads up right there. In any case, we have uh, MG down here with no action whatsoever. So, I guess the... What was it? The, the Allies just don't want to come down here? Well, I mean, they're putting down caches, and right now they're putting down, like, four bases. So, they're really trying to, like, I guess, stick it out long term. They're like, yeah, we'll be fine in mid. We'll hold out long enough for artillery to keep things going. Fighting position's still holding. Well, you know, not having the MG, though. But British infantry pushing on forward. Let's see. We have a mixed uh, group from Sean. Kind of a mixed bag. Uh, they're just trying to hold. Profile, again, mixed. Uh, let's see. He went with uh, first from Doctrine. So, again, to burn out the enemy. A lot of fire-specific or explosive doctrines, which are abilities, which is good. Again, we can see here the enemy is kind of fo focusing more in the north. And while he did go penal troops, which maybe not the best in buildings, I get it. They're, they have good satchels, so you can. Just take note that really good infantry can counter them. Like, folk squads equipped with MP40s or SCG44s can typically beat them, especially in heavy cover. The flamethrower is the one you have to deal with, but as long as you're in heavy cover and fire from a decent range, you'll do damage to him, and he can't really hit you with the flamethrower. So it's really three guns versus four. So just uh, kind of help you guys out there. Now, we can see here, resource-wise, the Allies are beating the Germans. So, the Germans really need to start capturing some points and, you know, putting down some caches if they're going to start turning this tide. 
Allies, by the way, with NKV Doctrine, very good for, again, flames, clearing buildings, the countering armor. Just a lot of really good abilities right now, so, yeah, I can see it. I could absolutely see uh, this being very good in the uh, north. Anyway, we have Chief with fortifications, which makes sense by what he's going. He's fortifying mid. Though, it looks like everyone's putting down a fortification. The Americans are putting down something. The British are putting down something. Speaking of the British, Gore has gone Royal Artillery Regiment. Interesting. So, And the Riddler has gone Priest. So, for, what I've heard from Ace, what I've, what I've heard is that this game features a fuck ton of artillery. I'm curious to see by how much, because I already, I've already seen 10 Soviet AT guns, the light version, not the, you know, the Zis like everyone knows. So, I'm curious to see how this one goes. Good bow for shot, literally just tore apart that Gradier squad. That's 90 manpower down the drain real quick. Mortar trying to counter fire, but once again, the double mortar pit. Oh, I'm sorry, I guess there's just one. Well, no, no, just two squads opening fire there. Is most likely going to push that thing back. If it's used correctly. Now, if this thing is on counter barrage, which I think it is. Uh, no, it's use, just using direct fire. He could maybe start doing some more damage. Problem is, they can't get close with the bow for there. So, they have to think of something soon in order to really push. Also, another thing. We're not really seeing any action down south. Gonna keep pointing it out. If it's... And the one thing I'll say, though, is boy is doing something wrong in this scenario. And, and I'll kind of explain what he's doing. So he's focusing a lot of his efforts here, and we know at this position, there's a Bofur. So again, if we kind of just go follow this infantry, you know, in the lives of the Grenadiers, in the lives. So their ploys, I'm assuming to break through enemy lines and get to the other side. That's what I'm assuming he's there for, right? Right. So this Bofur's range, as we can see, is literally at this point, which makes any attempted breach through this section death. Like, Bofors will s destroy infantry at an incredibly fast rate. Uh, so, you have to really worry about that. Also, by the way, I got a new chair. You guys noticed? It's really nice. I'm enjoying it. I really am enjoying it. But, uh, yeah. Just, just something that, you know, I, I, I'm i quite enjoying. Just a new comfy seat that's not ripped apart by my cat. So, that's nice. Um, the Bofors, as I stated before, just ripping apart the infantry. One squad made it through. But, and the double engineers are, tr I'm sorry, yeah, are trying to keep this thing alive. Uh, will the Bofur kill the Grandier squad? It's close. And doesn't make it. Okay. So, as stated, down south, if you would have pushed, there's nothing here. You can actually have neutralized that cache, which would be 250 manpower down. So, once again, you want to hit where the enemy is maybe not expecting it and or not prepared for it. Um, again, so you want to push through here. Uh, because that's the best alternative than, uh, you know, just charging through mid, because we just saw that went. We have also a double mortar pit, and all oh, this one already has 10 kills. It's already been 8 minutes. Hot damn. That's, a, all right, there we go. That's some good veteran safety. So, again, the mortar teams are probably just smashing a lot of the Axis forces over here, which is probably why Sean is doubling up on the mortars. He's trying to counteract that, and that can work, although... To be fair, he can't bring any more fire teams closer, like the Buchanan Warfare, because that Bofur's there, and he'll shred that thing if it got close. Scout car trying to get close and kill it. Although, it also looks like they, the Allies brought a Mortar Half-Track to help counteract a lot. So, the Allies are really focusing a lot of uh, Mortar equipment in the like middle portion, which makes it very tough for the Germans to break. But, with that Scout car raid and a Grandier push, again, through an area that is unprotected, they were able to neutralize the Mortar Half-Track. So once again, if you're going to play in, uh, in, in a map like this, you want to make sure that you exploit any and all weaknesses that the enemy has well, available or open. And that's the perfect one. Another example would be this T-70 trying to push on in, but the Burkhanwerfers kind of are now deployed, so this is no longer an area he can exploit. Um, but he could probably go up north and cause a lot of damage to these guys because they have no AT. So, you know. Gain something, you minus something, but you learn something every day. And the best thing I can say is always engage where the enemy is not, or not, it will cause you the least grief. Uh, uh, less rage quitting is always, you know, best. Anyway, we still got a mortar half track. So, Sean is like, bitch, you want to mortar me? I'm going to mortar you straight back. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes exactly. 
Although, with the fortifications down, Chief might be able to keep that thing alive. Might, I say. I mean, he's... He's uh, he really fortified it. As 11 kills, he braced it so it'll take less damage. The counter artillery they've been doing at least knocked out one mortar team. Plus, the other mortar is now half dead and being pushed back. They do have a double support gun, and I do like how the axes are working together. Not only Sean is bringing artillery, but we can see here that Ace has a support gun to assist. We see here that Profile has a, a support gun to assist. So even though I think these guys will heal pretty quickly, I don't think they're going to save it. It's going to be close, but I don't think they're going to save it. Now, this mortar hit... Oh, damn, man. That guy went flying. Is actually... Uh, yeah. The Bofer died as well, so this is the last mortar pit. This one already had six kills, so it's already doing pretty damn well. So, n very nice. Um, but, yeah. Oh, and by the way, while we're at the ten-minute mark, which is a point that you should always have AT, which... Good job, Profile, for having those Recad Morphers. I just also want to say... Uh, make sure you submit the, your replays to grayshellproductions at gmail.com or your top moments that maybe wouldn't necessarily make a replay, but show off your skill and I'll kind of highlight it. Um, a few guys, a few of you guys have been sending in more, which is perfect. Thank you guys so much. And if you guys have not done so already and want to do so, you know where to go. Grayshellproductions at gmail.com or suh2.org slash outcast slash grayshellproductions. Either way, will work out greatly. Thank you again for your support in that regard. And also, you know, Patreon supporters, subscribers, all you guys that just make it awesome. Valentine tank deployed. Very good early tank. It is definitely something to where you, especially if you have a light tank, you want to worry about. I wouldn't say it is necessarily, like, end-all, be-all. But I would say if this thing fights, let's say, on the German side, specifically a Luke's, it's going to win. So, the other thing that's really good at is providing, again, support. Whether you have the observation mode or, again, you can see here the concentration section barrage. Which, again, combine that with this and, yeah, not, you know. I'm sorry, this. I, I'm looking at the wrong one. I, I was like, oh, yeah, Sexton, the priest, Doug. Ugh. Anyway, Panzergrandier is coming on the flank. Uh, yeah, not sure what his plan was there. I guess trying to... I, I actually have no fucking clue what his plan was. Because, again, I'm looking here... Cash is not taking any damage. Like, he could have moved his forces down to deal with the Cash. He did not. And it's kind of frustrating in that regard. The fact that the entire enemy's southern front is not being exploited. Um, that would be essentially... Again, a great example would be... Um, actually, yeah. Because I've been... Uh, for those who don't know, I, I watch uh, Time Ghosts. And they, they're doing World War II right now. So while they're... Right now, they just essentially... 79 years ago today, they initiated... Or, like, the Battle of Norway is initiating. So, the invasion has happened um, on April 9th. And right now, they're talking about, like, what are the Norwegians going to do? Well, the British are sending men to fight and all this other stuff. By the way, they were actually going to go invade Sweden. Yeah, go look up that story about how the Nordic campaigns were originally supposed to go. <laughs> that's, that's a very interesting read. But, uh... All in France, there's still no fighting, no real pushing, no advancing, nothing. So, once again, just kind of, kind of showing you, like, like, hey, th there's a front. Maybe you want to do something with it. Is on the field. But hey, that's just me. That's just me. Stug opening fire on the mortar pit. We actually have a good allied like pressure uh, building. Um, and again, momentum going forward with a lot of guys just opening fire and actually, yeah, putting a lot of damage on mortar, uh, sorry, mortar, the medical base with mortar fire. And they're really trying to do that to just bring down overall the, uh, the Axis front line. Now, we do have a bunch of guys here, but a great grenade and by the Comet tank, which, oh my god, they have a Comet tank already? Jesus, in a 14 minute mark? This guy just went straight for it. I mean, good for him. That's going to be rough for the Allies to counter. Now, luckily, they have enough AT, both of this, um, the Pack 40 variant and the Vercan Morphers. Problem is, well, that Stuka was almost in arm's way, but luckily, Ace Quick Micro managed to get out. And Sean sh shoving his units directly in that guy's face, aka scaring it by possibly being Panzer Fausted, literally was able to keep um, that Stuka alive. So, really good gameplay in that regard. Nice synergy. God damn, the Allies like artillery. So we have a mortar carriage and a mortar pit opening fire upon the Axis 
lines and right now the entire northern sector pretty clear i'm not seeing any mines or anything left by either side so a small infantry group could push north you would have to worry about the t70 but i feel like uh profile you have enough for cannibal first you can place them in a building and cover a large swath of territory so that could be good finally this guy moves in is like hey maybe i should help out and actually capture decaps the enemy fuel which is good because i'll at least give the fuel to the germans and they could possibly use that to gain a little bit more of a lead nice idea with the vercan morphers get rid of that in case you're wondering why he's getting rid of that he's trying to get rid of that so that way he can they can shoot the uh, artillery pieces that are using it for cover Stuka kind of missing target. Does a little bit of damage to the mortar half track, but not all that much. Um, oh, by the way, my cat is uh, looking at me very sad to my left. Uh, simply because of the fact that uh, because of this new cherry, it's harder for her to jump up behind me. So, yeah. She, she's very disappointed about that. I'm not. Well, okay, maybe a little bit. But in any case, enemy artillery. We now have a priest. I want to say it's... No. Yes. Yes, it's a priest. No, it's not. It's a sexton. No, it's a priest. It's a sexton. Fuck. Grayshad doesn't know his artillery. Hacked. Oh my god. No, no, no. But I will say this: uh, all of his, all their fortifications they tried to place here. At least the axes were able to counter that. I was surprised because again, I saw them like they're gonna probably have some trouble. But no, they broke it. Problem though is the axes are uh they're, they're still contesting the point. But luckily, because the allies are either just don't care or, or just too oblivious to really push south, that's two VP points then under their control. So as long as the Axis control the one closest to their side, they've been putting pressure on the allies. And the allies are currently almost at halfway. So even though the allies are currently winning the fight in a lot of battles, as you can see, they're not winning in the points. And now in the manpower, they're in the mid-30s while the Axis are coming back strong. Probably in the, I would absolutely say low 50s at the bare minimum. Now, unfortunately, the Allies now have a KV flamethrower tank, which will burn all infantry to the ground. And even AT guns that you have to really watch out at long range to be like, uh, how do we deal with this thing? But, um, yeah, it's it's uh, not it's not looking great for the Axis. Uh, Stug coming back up to fight the Command Valentine tank head on. Uh, yeah. It's still, I would say, more like an advanced meet, a light tank. Well, this is a, I would, yeah, advanced light tank destroyer. So it, it kind of bounced, but the comet won't have as many issues with the bouncing. Fortunately, with all the grenadiers here, I expect lots of Panzer Faust coming this way. Lots of good hits, especially by the pack gun. Stuka very close to the front. Uh, more Panzer Faust being fired, or are they all fired, or are we gonna move up the Stug? All right, there we go boy is moving on in and trying to move in come on get him boy by the way that's a god of war reference in case god damn ever like at the uh the game the video game awards where it's like read it boy like that that, that was just great why well, I, I love the fact that that statement is made a meme unfortunately what did not happen though uh was a boy uh knocking out the comet actually managed to get out of there and now, most likely going to be repaired and totally fine. So that's kind of an issue. The only thing I'll say is the Allies really lack a lot of manpower, which I think the Germans are taking advantage of by trying to cap, cap more territory. The command tank's probably going to die. And middle's wide open. Oh, nope, missed. Damn, Al Axis not doing well. Allies just doing a lot better. Anyway, uh, you have... Motherfucker. I wish I had some alcohol right now. Okay, don't be wrong. I like this idea, but I'm already seeing this MG. And this is why. This MG is facing this way, so essentially you're telling the enemy to come down here, and you're forcing them to come to an area where the MG is not covering. You see that issue? Meanwhile, we have Profile. He's like, okay, if the guy's not going to push south, I'm going to push south, and I don't blame him. At least he'll have the firepower to slowly kill the cash and defeat it. In mid, we have a Stug trying to get out alive, but the Firefly is probably going to knock it out. Puma could drop smoke. It's going to be it's gonna be close. Can the Stug make it out alive? Come on, Stug. You can make it. I believe in you. Come on, Stug. Back up. Actually surprised he made it out. Good for you, boy. Good for you. Now, Artillery. Nice hit there. 
Again, we have the allies again. A lot of armor up north, so they're gonna watch that pretty damn well. Okay, never mind. Artillery just knocked it. Wait, is he using a counter barrage effect? I can't tell if he's using counter. Wait, no. Yeah, he wouldn't have counter barrage. It would be the fortification guy using counter barrage. He doesn't look like he's using counter barrage, but it was like tr it seemed to be tracking that thing. So it wouldn't surprise me if he was. Or maybe call down artillery in the sector. Well, hmm. I don't know. Counter barrage essentially for the British is just counter fire from the base artillery to kill that unit. I don't think he used it. I think it was just the normal one because I'm not seeing anything here. But. In any case, Ace going in for a close range. Duka could probably get a lot of kills. Wow, three star. Barely alive now. Commissar unit. Did push back some of the Soviets. Now the Germans are launching a counter attack. Problem is we have fire, I think, coming down. Nope, we have artillery and airburst shells, so, you know, not great. SU-85 kind of watching mid, but they have no nothing to counter infantry. They need, like, a Vickers or a Bofer or something to really hold that stuff back. Oh, my God, thank you. I love this guy. I freaking love it. He launched a attack into their base to pull them south. Thank you. Now, you can say, Gray Shot, what about the Comet? And I would say to the average viewer, what comet? Because I don't see anything. Come on, please kill it. Don't make me eat my words. Fire. Wow, a bounce? Oh my god. Well, I was right, the comet died. Um. Oh yeah, and he's doing Overwatch now. Over the Overwatch artillery on the, the Soviets will kill all our armor. Not the Vikanwerfers though, they'll be fine. But, look, I'm not saying you have to pull a whole army down here. And technically, he's not leaving his north pretty insecure. At least Sean's kind of covering that. But, at the very least, what they they, they, they complete also ignore the cash. Like, for me, I would take over the territory, not just attack the guy's base. Especially, like, I thought he was pulling it in for an ambush. Like, he laid mines or something. Because usually that's what I do. Especially, like, on choke points areas like this. So that way the enemy doesn't just waltz in behind you. He gets trapped on one of your mines. And it's not like you don't have the manpower. I'm sorry, munitions for it. You do. So, yeah, that was kind of a, a little bit. That was a bit of a fail. But at least you killed the Comet. So, not all bad. But, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, we have Sean trying desperately to push up north. The C-70s there is going to hold back a lot of infantry. With the engineer squad kind of hiding out in the buildings as well. He's near Popcap, by the way. So, if he takes losses, he can easily get them back out. Uh, meanwhile, we have down south that at least profiles advancing and, like I said, killing the cash. A good pincer movement or a counterattack up here through a side flank could probably knock out a lot of the artillery and maybe some of the armor if done correctly. And I mean this by backed up by mines for Cadmurfers and infantry. If you're coming from that angle, the enemy won't suspect it, they won't see it, and they won't, won't be able to react to it. Plus, you could decap their fuel, take more resources for yourself, and be in a better position. Right now, with the position you're gathering, the Germans will not be equal, but be right under the Allies in terms of munitions and manpower, which is it's what they need to be, honestly. So, as you can see, 37, 36, 32, 35. So, it's close enough that it's almost even. The Allies still have a slight edge, but I, I would still say it's pretty damn close. Um, meanwhile, again... AT guns and MGs, at least doing a decent job. I like how you have MGs hold back the British infantry as well. This is going to be a situation where the, they'll be able to just simply push on in. Good. I'm assuming some artillery, Stuka bomb looks like, maybe came in. Nice job killing the artillery piece. Unfortunately, another one is still there. Um, and it looks like this guy, oh my god, he has three of them. <sighs> okay, so three artillery pieces isn't, I mean, yes, the, the, the technically this guy has one and that kind of sucks, but okay, three priests is a bit much, but it's not that bad. And unfortunately, the Overwatch artillery and everything looks like he killed the Panther as well. So the Axis are taking a lot of casualties right now. The Allies are slowly building up their men. So this could be a quick game if this continues. Uh, we have recon going in. Most likely, they're trying to identify any any enemy armor in the region so they can have the artillery strike come in. I'm also kind of curious about this, like system of tank traps i'm the, the reason i'm curious about it is like what's the purpose of it 
Um, is it to stop armor from pushing in and just hitting the building? Is it to provide cover if they need to get out? Because, like, in my opinion, won't they just run up and use the cover to cover to get close? I don't know. Anyway, once... Oh my god, did they really kill? They so Somehow this British... I love this guy so freaking much. This guy's literally... Oh my god. This guy's literally chasing the enemy in the base. He's like, guys, we'll, we'll get him. I promise you we'll get him. Chase him down, men. They're literally fighting in the base. There's someone going to be like, great shot. Why'd you show me like an image at like the beginning of these Volk squads killing the British? Obviously, the British are like, they're losing. They're on the edge. They're about to lose. No, actually, not even close. The British have been winning. They just somehow got around these guys' MGs. Oh, probably with smoke. And now we're chasing down and killing the guys inside. And this Soviet player is like, not my problem. Not my problem. He he's an allied player. I'm a common turn. I'm fine. I'm gonna say that was worth it. I'm gonna say killing a 280 manpower unit was worth it. As long as you get the men out. And this guy's advancing. God bless you, Profile. Simply God bless. Cause now at least I hope they send more forces down south so that way the axes don't keep being pummeled um we have a puma going in okay so let's see how this puma does going in real quick going in for some quick movements kv being pinned ace going around the nope Just fighting the t70 misses the shot backing up maybe going long range pack guns moving in nice job ace covering or sorry sean is covering t70 now opening fire but unfortunately missing the shot Panzer Grandier is retreating. Pack gun now guarding Vet 2, so it's going to be pretty potent in my opinion. Now we have Valentine tank going south, but the Verkenwerf is like, yeah, come at me, bro. Oh, look, mines! So he is... Okay, so this guy is not an idiot. He knows what he's doing. He may have been a little preemptive, but he can at least... Well, oh, I, I was going to say at least he can fix uh, mistakes he's made, but... Maybe that's not entirely correct. I do love the fact that there's certain pioneers attacking the enemy base. I mean, the enemy's up north and putting pressure on the uh, the Axis lines, but at least he's drawing away some of the units. Maybe the again it'll force the Allies to focus there. Also, by the way, like there's artillery coming through here. There's nothing stopping an like an incursion from the south. There's nothing. A full-scale German assault coming from the south could rip them to shreds. And I don't mean just attacking the base. Yeah, they're in a small area. They can easily be encircled. Like, that's obvious. But I mean, like, a full-scale, like, Puma or Panther, something, like, coming in from the side could easily rip, this, rip these things apart. Me... They're now multiplying faster than gremlins right now. There are now five priests on the field. Okay. That's artillery spam to the nth degree. Holy mackerel. They are actually merging out of each other. It's kind of like uh, the gremlin where it's like he started popping popping more gremlins out of himself. I mean, that's exactly what what's going on here. Priests are literally coming out of the other priests. Uh, that's how priests uh, propagate, guys. That's, that's how they propagate. Anyway, uh, mean armor charge through fireflies is coming up through the gut. Double Stug play by Boy is trying to counteract it. And the, the Puma's there. Tiger's been deployed by Sean, so if they do a combined effort, they could get close. Actually, what he might do is Ace can deploy the smoke. Oh, shoot, he did the aiming shot. Never mind. He knocked out the main gun. Um, unfortunately, the other one is like, killed it. But the reason I say you smoke is that way the armor can move up with coverage. And that way they could ambush the enemy. But unfortunately, we didn't see that happen. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we have a lot more forces down south trying to push on up. Uh, again, they could do another attack over here. We'll see exactly what happens. I think this guy may be overemphasizing attacks down south. I feel like... Oh, good. Okay, so this guy's at least counterattacking. Now, unfortunately, he just turned to 17-pounder, which is why maybe you need uh, more pressure in mid or, you know, something. But at least we got artillery coming in. That should, yeah, it removes the 17-pounder. Panzer IV died. 
but the 70 pounder's dead, so that's a plus. So, anyway, right now the allies are currently, again, concentrating the north. They want to win via VP points. Uh, unfortunately, though, it seems like Sean and Ace have deployed themselves heavy armor. The problem is the allies have just, well... I mean, I'll let you guys determine if this is spam or not, but I'm going with hell yes. I mean, the sections there just good measure. It's kind of like the, uh, the, 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 was it the, the, the pulse and minus to the Pikachu, where it's like, you're trying to be a knockoff right now, and it's not working out too well for you. Anyway, at least long range artillery fires bring up the fortifications. Meanwhile, flank coming in against all these guys' troops. Wait, what is that? That's a Bren. So another unit died there, another British unit. This guy's about to walk in front of another MG. I guess he's not worried, although it's causing great suppression to all of them. Instant suppression, because it's point blank. The Catwoofer is pulling on back. This thing is a damaged engine, so it's going to be out of commission. Look, at least someone's doing something. Unfortunately, this I can't say the same thing for the Tiger. Unfortunately, it took a little too much long-range fire. And, of course, the Allies steal over Catwoofer. Why not? All right, so we have a magnitude of priests here, um, and I'm gonna assume that he is not doing it right now. But all these priests are now opening fire at the okay. So at the bare minimum, what? What? Oh my god! Well, there goes the neighborhood. Yeah, but essentially what he's doing is he's using the priests to counteract that armor, and any push they do will just be annihilated. And the problem with the Yag Tiger is it needs to be still for it to fire long range. These priests are literally just making sure that thing has to keep moving every time it fires. Interesting counter. Uh, uh, now this thing needs to move because uh, we have uh, something coming in. Oh my god. Holy crap. The crew in here is like, gee, it's literally blocking out the sun with the artillery shells. Retreat! Yeah, so that's kind of bullshit and I guess he's just gone entirely artillery he's become one with the RDPs uh, anyway uh, the mines and everything again still delaying them and their counterattack allies don't care about the south I still even though they've been harming a lot of the, the south in general um, and by the way profile still has a full army like he's probably could save up for another piece of armor but he's still doing pretty damn well. He has double for counterweapons as well and mines all over the place. If those comets advance, which really hoping they do, perfect ambush opportunity right there. Meanwhile, Sean again lost his tiger. I guess we'll slowly get a new one or a panther. Boy still has his light armor, though again, that's light to meet tank destroyers and medium armor, just not doing as well as it probably should be, honestly. For Kenworth is doing a great job at putting a lot of pressure on the comets. And again, he keeps the Volk squads there so that way the Royal Engineers can't move in and kill the Vicken Morphers. Panzerfaust also a possibility. I think he's pushing up a little too much. Although, I can see a good flank right now by Profile to kill this Firefly. Vet 3 as well. Oh my god, commit, come on. Or is that a pathfinding issue? Is it a pathfinding issue? Dude, you were literally point blank to killing a Firefly and instead you turn left. Okay. What? Whatever, I guess you're trying to help the front. Hansa Faust? Hansa Faust. Good. Grenade going off. Doesn't matter. Too late. And say goodbye to the Comet. Double bounce? Oh my god. And that thing is still barely alive. Fire! Damage engine. You know, if you would have killed that Firefly, I guarantee you wouldn't have had as many problems as you do now. Anyway, uh, nice job with the camera for getting a great hit. With the other one on backup, I think this one's going to kill it. Hopefully... There we go. Good hit. Actually, that would be incredible if the Volk Squad's got that Comet. That would be great. Double Sniper. Very interesting. I guess the idea is so that we can identify and neutralize the Verkentwerfers. Meanwhile, big a push up north by Sean and Ace. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll sacrifice our lives so that way the Panther can make it through. Uh, not Panther. The Panther 4. Oh my god. So, uh, yeah, the the priests are still here. And, yeah, he's just fine with five of them. I guess he's not doing the the glitch where he gets more of them. So, essentially, you decrew these guys, and then you could technically get more. 
as you can see right now, you can't do that. But there's some cheap tricks to decrew units. Ace will tell you all about them, even if they can't normally decrew. Um, so, yeah, that thing has got reheal. I'm sorry, it got taken. This guy's on standby. There's a full army down here at least. At the very least, this guy's doing exactly what he needs to. He's keeping this guy's army, for the most part, down south. Even though there are his, I think, for tree points up here for some reason. I guess he thought he was going to be focusing more in the north rather than the south. Meanwhile, big armor push mixed with the Panzer IV uh, and the... Yeah, the Stug. But the problem is, yeah, just that Panzer IV took too, way too much damage. We have more artillery coming in. We have the Overwatch stuff, so it's going to counteract the armor. Um, great shot with the Yag preventing the Stug from getting crippled and dying. Puma possibly coming in from the north, which is funny because I know Ace is thinking that he's being super sneaky, but to be quite honest, if he came in from this direction, he probably could get to them a lot easier than the north. It's actually a lot. There's nothing there stopping. Hell, he could probably even get some other units. In the meantime, luckily, a big push by Sean and boy manages to uh, break some stuff up, though. Nice. Very nice indeed. Katusha shot helps to break up, though he does not give a damn, although well, their grenade goes out. He's like, yeah, okay, now I'm going to retreat. Puma finally getting through the line and is like, okay, time for some payback. Which is funny because he has no idea where it is, let alone all these guys just fired their MG at the Puma. So they're like, Shh, be quiet, and they all fire the, the, their machine guns, being like, okay, maybe we're not so quiet. So there goes the mortar carriage, so that has been defeated. Um, now we have the Puma, again, going after them. We have a we definitely have an issue with that, that, uh, penal. Because they can throw a satchel. Which he probably will. He does. Uh, good shot on the Katusha. That's two armored units down. Can we get a third? Uh, the Panther's also coming in. So it's, oh my god. It's like rounding up sheep on a farm. Alright, another one goes down. So we have three, four artillery pieces going down. Holy crap. Panther's still going in. Puma, unfortunately, not able to keep up. Probably will die. Panther, though, giving chase. Again, this might be a good opportunity for Red to move in. I'm surprised he isn't. Because right now, all these units are facing the one way. They could turn it, make it, fl uh, flip it, and get, uh, they could do a lot more damage. That's three artillery P. Oh, actually, no, it's only decrewed. Puma, unfortunately, finally bit it. We do have the Comet dead, which is a positive. Uh, which now leaves two active priests, one decrewed at the moment. Um, and out of, what, three dead priests... A mortar carriage and uh yeah some other armor so okay not bad i think he should have moved up his panther i feel like that would have easily overwhelmed the firefly and possibly could have helped him out and actually that right there could have sealed the deal for the allies because right now the allies are fine and resource wise but it would be a little bit of time before they could rapidly redeploy then they could probably use the remaining forces and maybe do a, a movement to clear out their remaining artillery and i feel like they would have been in a lot better position Right now, however, as we can see, they're still having trouble even just taking this point. Though, with the decrease of units in that area and the artillery, they were at least able to decrew mid, which is now putting a lot more pressure back on the Allies via capture point. The problem, however, is the fact that the Allies are now regrouping. They're now pushing forward and using the artillery what they have left, which, by the way, he is rapidly deploying more priests. He, and I'm assuming he's just going to get a bunch of priests now. He... He has plenty of fuel. He has enough fuel income. We can probably get three more priests with no issues. And each of these priests costs how much? Um, 15. So we can honestly only afford two more. But that would give him six priests. Which would be freaking insane. Uh, meanwhile, that would also include another artillery piece with a sexton. Which would make a grand total of seven heavy artillery pieces. If he used all those correctly. Which, Jesus Christ, that is a lot. I mean, that is... That's uh, quite a bit. So, the other issue is Rig. Rig right now is a decent army. It's not a full, like, T-34 or something like that. It's, it's a nice variety. But we can see here he has a lot of veterancy with his units. So, we can see his unit preservation is pretty damn good. Um, unfortunately, he needs a little bit more anti-infantry in this region if he wants to really advance. But also, give credit where credit's due. Profile, tons of vetted up guys. All, like, nearly at pop cap. He still has a lot of forces in the south, and he's trying at the bare minimum to keep this guy, uh, aka Chief, 
his army in the south. Which is more than I can say about Boy. Boy keeps getting stoogs and I don't understand. Because the 17 pounder, which, oh, I'm sorry. Which, well, no, it's back here. It's going to snipe this thing. More so than the stoog can do damage. And then the fireflies and whatnot are doing more damage to it. I mean, right now, yes, he doesn't have to worry about Jackson's. But he has to watch out a hail of artillery coming down on his head. Which, meanwhile, once again, we have Rig just going around trying to clear it. I, right now, these these tank traps are actually causing more issues. Because I think they're deflecting some of the shots. Okay. Maybe not all of them. But, you know, a decent amount. Puma, once again, coming down south. Which is hilarious, because once again, I look at this straight path this way. All the way hit, to hit all that stuff. Yeah, the fact that also this guy keeps going into the enemy bit. Oh my god, are you serious? Yes! 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 Oh my god, the Germans took it. They're like, guys, we finally got one. We got one of these suckers. Now it's time for the allied artillery to get allied artillery. Oh my god, unfortunately though, he's stuck in pathfinding. And he's really just going to do a couple close range shots. Will the pre- will this actually do anything? Oh, he's destroying that so you can advance. Oh, okay, the sniper had to kill it. At least I think the sniper had to kill it. Oh, well. At the bare minimum, that was worth it. Oh, my God. The fact that the Germans keep rushing into the British base is mwah. It's just, it's perfect. And I love that the British are the ones that killed this guy's medical base. And now, because of that, he's focusing exclusively down south and causing hell for him. Yag Tiger, by the way, also doing pretty good, at least keeping the armor away from this point, which is allowing the allies, I'm sorry, ax, sorry, the Axis to hold on to this victory point, putting more pressure on the allies right now, and actually allowing the Axis to gain uh, victory, at least right now in the capture point war. Now, it can go either way, um, just like uh, Hellboy could have been a good film, but with the circumstances uh, of its development, of course, it was most likely going to end in this kind of way which again it, look anyway i can bash hellboy this new hellboy film which is no way associated with guillermo or ron perlman i will i will be i i, I will absolutely do it because it is bad it's bad oh god it is it's just very bad anyway uh some forces over here just lying in wait i guess he's trying to protect Oh, I forget. Okay, this is even... I'm, I'm an idiot. I keep thinking this is the, the British base. It's not. It's the American base. Okay. So now this guy's trying to move in. He did lose a Verkantwerfer. But now we also have a ton of priests. He's was enough to get another one if he wants to. But we have five priests opening fire. And it looks like they're opening fire in mid trying to remove this stuff. And managed to kill an MG. So good for him. But unfortunately for him... Uh, hi, cat. You want to help out? You want to help out with the replays? Okay. So, uh, Tally. Oh, okay. Say hello. All right. Girl. She 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 was just on the side. Like, yeah, she wants to help. Because as you saw, she's like jumping behind stuff like that. She's like running around and like, okay, cat, it's okay. Ah, uh, nice shot with the Vercan Warfare's doing a nice ambush. Once again with the Puma, Ace is going around. Now, Ace's Puma and the Panther charge earlier did very well. If they can do it again, they could do a lot of damage. Meanwhile, again, most of his time, Ace is just trying to guard this area and keep the KV-8 um, back. So, very good. And the Yag Tiger is doing exactly what he needs to. It's keeping the heavy armor back along just infantry engagements. And right now, even though this guy is amazing armor, his infantry is lackluster. It's all anti-armor, not infantry. Meanwhile, uh, Sean has got himself a panther trying to uproot these uh, bofers to help win this game. Uh, meanwhile, down south, we have the British trying desperately to hold the south, but he's losing men uh, faster than Profile is. Profile is actually doing really well. He has a lot of veterancy. More for Ken Warfers, too, even better. So, meanwhile, we got the Puma, and we got this Puma going on the hunt. All right, I don't see any mines in this sector. Are there any mines in this sector? I don't see any mines in this sector. Okay, not really. So we're going to see the Puma go hunting for prey. Now, once again, he's going up north, which very risky. Honestly, his best idea would probably push through the south. I guess the Axes don't really have recon or anything, which is weird. But now, the, now this thing is moving in. 
Oh, he's laying the cheap mines, so I guess he is. Oh, no, I think... Are they the bigger mines? No, I think they're the cheap mines. All right, so... Yeah, he has six priests. He's down to five now. Um, the smoke, though, is making it hard for him to hit. Now, if he kills this one, that'd be pretty damn good. He's trying to hide in the smoke and use direct fire. Very nice. Again, that prevents the enemy from seeing him. Now, he's trying to escape. He's still trying to kill him, and as we know, the American wasted a lot... Yeah, uh, a lot of his manpower trying to rebuild. Ah, oh, damn it, the enemy got the Puma, though. But yeah, remanning all of his pre-supplies. But now that half of them are dead, or, okay, two of them are dead. This one's barely alive. Maybe a bomb strike comes in and kills it? Ah, uh, no, it's too close to air support going after these rather than this, which it was a better target. And plane just crashed. Great job, man. Just, just great job. Uh, meanwhile, the British are desperately trying to hold this sector. Seems like they're doing a, a better job, I would say, at holding it. But for how long and for how effective they do this, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but anyway, up north at the very least, the Ag Tiger is still watching. Infantry is pushing up. They're going to retake the point. It's a battle for this point right now. And right now, I don't think the Allies can win. I think that as long as that KV... Oh, sorry, KV. Yag Tiger's there. The KV can't uh, really advance. We do have the anti-art... I think it's the anti-artillery barrage. Yeah, it is. Sorry, the anti-armor barrage, I should say. So he's pulling back. Stu kind of up, going up north. We have double T-34 on standby. We have a bunch of infantry. Once again, I find it hilarious the Puma's going up north and taking this long strategy when this guy's literally just walking up from the south. He's literally just walking his full army up. He could probably take this point. Hell, he could probably tell the camera to go kill that thing. Another priest is dead. Uh, if I was him, I would try to reman the Puma so the enemy wouldn't get it. Or Panzerfaust it. I mean, you have the option to. Uh, oh, no, he killed it. Cool, the Puma's dead. Yay. Um, the Camouflers are just hiding. Maybe camouflage them so they can ambush armor. Unfortunately, though, the British is gathering more strength, so an attack down south is more likely. Though, with the mines currently in place, an attack would probably end up with British loss more than a victory because they would probably be stopped. And the Vercan Warfers quickly deal with that. Uh, yeah, pushing back the Sexton. Panzerfaust po a possibility? Uh, no, it's definitely in fact hitting the Sexton. And I'm assuming the Vercan Warfers coming in, hitting the Comets from the side. Meanwhile, we have a Sean's forces who could probably shoot that thing right up in the ass. Though, we have a problem with the 17-pounder being redirected in that sector, pushing them back with the Bofor killing the AT gun. So, very nice job in that regard. For Ken Ruffers, though, do not care and are currently opening fire in mass to kill that. Now, unfortunately, he's probably going to lose all of them because of the uh, swarm, which is bad because a lot of them are vetted. But, it's not like he can't just either go back and remand them and or just buy new ones. For Ken Ruffers are actually pretty cheap overall. They're 270 compared to 320. So, Overall, it's not too bad. Now, again, with the constant artillery, I can see why this area is becoming hard to capture. But the bare minimum... Oh, my God. No, don't go for this. Go for this. Go for this. Meanwhile, again, we still have uh, defenses in the sector. Oh, he's minesweepers now, so that would at least make it a little bit easier. Another Panzerfaust kills the Sexton. And uh, fantastic work there. Meanwhile, we have a lot of stuff in mid. But we have flares going out from the British... So they can identify the Yag Tiger and give tar uh, you know a good target on. Now the 70 pounder, it seems to be sniping it, which is weird because technically if you look, it shouldn't be able to hit it, but it is. So I don't know, maybe a little bit bigger than the model would suggest. But the Yag Tiger is pulling back. It is a quarter health. It needs a lot of repair. Suka bomb came in, a little bit of damage to everything, not too much to anything though. Uh, yeah. Probably needs to pull this sucker back and just get itself healed up and ready to go. Although, wasn't this too good? Okay, you had to guess, guess uh, they had to get a new one. Yep. Meanwhile, we have a large counterattack. The British are like, okay, we're done with this guy. We are advancing south. Now, again, this is an issue because they have minesweepers, heavy infantry, heavy armor, etc. And this guy no longer has his Kenworth army. He's only getting that back. But he still has his Volks army and his. Stern Pioneer Army. So if combine those two, it could probably be decently effective at counteracting the Allied uh, presence in the south. We shall see. Meanwhile, Sean is once again pushing in mid with his Panthers, killing the Bofor at the very least. Uh, hopefully he does. Maybe not. Oh, he does. Nice flanking maneuver with the Panzergrandiers. 
kills it, and now there's nothing stopping the 70 pounder from just being hit with multiple shots of Panzer Shrex. Now again, the infantry squads inside could do damage, and the centaur could do damage. Okay, that could have been a better shot. Um, do we have artillery at all? We have star artillery coming in. And it's coming in this sector, so as long as Sean can keep it in the general vicinity, they should be fine. Up, oh, will the Grandier die? Grandier died, damn it. Now I'm looking here and I'm seeing the Yagtag. Okay, it's healed. They're healing back at base. Does he? Oh yeah, okay. He put They put their bases farther in their actual base said the OKW putting it forward because he was worried about artillery most likely. Down south, I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a master treat of British forces. I see a Comet, which should be Panzerfausted like now. Surprise it isn't. There we go, it is. We have time on target come in, but just not really working. Panther going in, giving chase. He's moving the Firefly because he knows he needs to protect the against the, uh, the the Panther. I'm actually surprised he didn't move up more of those guys to kind of cover um, and make sure he gets Panther Faust. Did he actually retreated? That is a mistake in my opinion. If he would have charged him, the Firefly would have treated him. His Panther would probably have been okay. He's going to hide up here, but I think the Firefly is still going to get chase. Uh, we have a couple units that could flank, and, and the Vikanwafer is here. But it is decrewed. He might try to go for the kill for Camelfer if they can do damage. Would at least do damage. And neutralize it. But in any capacity. Let's see. Stern Pioneer is pushing on in. Might be able to get the kill. Come on. For Camelfer right behind him. Meanwhile, up north, we have the Stuka opening fire upon the British lines. Oh, so close. To oh, definitely kills 17 pounder. Very cool. Um, does this guy still have his artillery? Sp oh my god. Well, if he's that's all he's focused on, but yeah, he has his five priests back. Okay. So meanwhile, the Jackson, I'm sorry, Jackson, the Firefly that was Vet 3 has been incapacitated. And once again, Ace is building a Puma. Now, if he goes up north again and goes around here, that would be stupid. I honestly think a southern push would be better, so that way he can hit it, and now he doesn't have to worry. Because right now there's nothing in mid. There's absolutely nothing. Anyway, nice job trying to kill this base. Again, he's probably using it. Yeah, forward base, try to heal. Good job, neutralize it, make sure the enemy can't use it. Well, you have your base. So meanwhile, with the artillery just all in a row, along with a bunch of T-34. So, you know, the allies just really laying it home with that armor. They're just really trying to lay it home. Meanwhile, uh, all, while that's there, a small push is going on. Yag Tiger, that two now, focusing a little bit in the wrong direction, being hit, I believe, by the 17 pounder as well. It's being hit by like two separate angles by some heavy guns. It's going to need to pull back now. Smoke being placed by Sean, very nice, trying to cover an ally out. Artillery also being laid down in that area, but the 17 pounder is in effect hitting a lot of that armor. T-34 is rushing through, getting those kills, and it looks like those Panthers will probably, yeah, the Panthers died. We do have some friendly fire, but that doesn't affect, you know, friendlies. Stuka, unfortunately, just got uh, knocked out. T-34 is coming around the flank. Again, sometimes the simplest unit can do a lot, and T-34 might be a base armored unit that a lot of people discount, but by God, it's working right now. Now, unfortunately, Ace did get his Puma, and we have a stew, so I feel like if Ace can just kill the T-30, oh no! With the final shot of the T-34, it kills the Yag Tiger. Damn. Although that was heavy losses, I would assume, for the Allies. Equal to the Germans. Yeah, um, Gorse is doing okay. He's healing his stuff right now. Riddler has just Priest. That's all he has. Never mind. Rig has so Rig is doing fine. He's just gonna mass produce stuff. Because he can he has enough manpower and fuel we can do it. Chef, on the other hand, it's he has manpower to spare and fuel, but it, it's maybe not as much as he wants. Especially for seeing an enemy that's just been causing hell over and over and over again for him. Profile, I, maybe not get a, a third for Ken Warfare. Oh, okay, may, maybe not. You've been definitely doing very well with those. So, maybe maybe keep them. Anyway, uh, luckily, boys moving up to try to capture this point. Again, allies still closer to death than the Axis, so it's not too big of a worry if they can't capture the point. KV moving in with some American infantry. Priests all opening fire upon the Axis lines, trying to stop them from decrewing it. 
Luckily he did. Also, I just realized that Ace has the ability to literally capture territory quicker, and I don't think I've seen him use it this game. So, one issue I could see with Ace is the fact when he captures territory, if he presses that, it would at least capture quicker. It's not like, I, I'm not seeing him using assault artillery to the nth degree to really break this stuff up, nor do I see it really being as effective, because it's not next. It, it's really helpful if it's on the point, even if it's that range, I, I don't think it does enough to really sway it otherwise. Meanwhile, luckily this Panzer IV is just going to walk on in, hopefully, and just start neutralizing the priests. Again, this is what happens when you go a full artillery army and you have nothing protecting it. Uh, the double AT guns are in the back. But as long as the Panzer IV... Oh, well, hit the tree. Wow, never mind. That Panzer IV just can't hit a damn thing. Maybe not. Maybe can't kill the... Ah. Oh. One can dream, I guess. Uh, speaking of dreaming, uh, Germans are falling back in the south again. British kind of reorganizing. And for... Finally, we have a break. We actually have a fight in the castle. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that fight because that's all you're going to get. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. <sighs> Alright, so artillery is now raining down on the castle area. I guess to break the. Uh, either A, kill the infantry, or B, clear the mines, I'm assuming. Meanwhile, we have all this artillery currently opening fire over here, and it's so far keeping the point from being crude. Again, Ace, this would be a great time to use Breakthrough to capture the point quicker. But we're not seeing it. Because, yeah, it would capture the point. Uh, enemy territory is neutralized quicker. I mean, even if you neutralize it and it doesn't happen to capture point, you would still crew it faster because at least half the process would be quicker. Um, any case... Yeah, this guy's fortification, I mean, like, on paper, it looks like it's doing really well, but the ally, the Axis are doing actually a decent job of countering it. So, yeah. And also, I'd say, on paper, yeah, this priest army looks impressive, but then also remind yourself that while the artillery is coming down, and it, it can come down in a fierce folly, as soon as the Germans leave that area, if they can, um, maybe a damaged armored unit would be have a harder time. But they, they're they fine for how long is it? Yeah, like a minute before the counter barrage starts. So they can kind of keep moving their army. And as long as they keep moving it, yeah, it sucks for the MG. That might be placed, but it, they're doing okay. Meanwhile, British infantry are finally pushing down south. Breaking through a lot of units, though. Uh, German infantry coming in between. Knocking out the snipers, it looks like. Oh boy, that unit got knocked out. Uh, a lot of armored units, though, right there. I'm not seeing much of anything for a major counterattack. You might want to, yeah, focus fire on the British infantry, remove them from play, and then start bringing up the Vercount Morphers really uh, counter. Looks like we might get at least one kill here. We actually have a, also a counterattack up north uh, with the KV uh, trying to hold back the infantry by Sean. I'm assuming he's trying to go in for a flank to maybe hit those guys. I'm not entirely sure. Right now, we do have a lot of forces moving up north, so they really want to protect the Broming Priest. So, maybe it's just for recon purposes. I'm not entirely sure. Panzer IV, though, did move up, but there's way too much armor. It can't really push up any longer. Any case, a lot of uh, Soviet... Yeah, well, a lot of Soviet forces move up north, and... Okay, at least he sacrificed T-34 to kill one. So, cool. Uh, they gonna neutralize that? Okay, cool. Meanwhile, the British finally took the south. It was it was a long time coming, but I'm glad they finally took the south. Um, unfortunately, a Stuka bomb coming in. Kills Royal Engineers a second after they already captured the point. That kind of sucks. Um, meanwhile, this guy's just probably going to heal his forces and then counterattack and probably beat back the British as one pack gun is already doing that, even with no health. The man is sick on his deathbed and still loading that gun. Good for him. Meanwhile, uh, okay, allies are decapping mid. They did have to run through some mines, but they've learned from their experience, and they still took it. So, you know, good for them. Good for them. So, the priest moving back. Right now, we have a new Yag Tiger currently guarding that point. And nice job on Ace decommissioning a lot of the wrecks for fuel. So, right now, we're seeing a lot of the wrecks 
so we can use that for uh, additional armor support maybe a puma he could deploy uh, something along those lines still i say the best attack route is actually the south not the north because right now he has the at guns down here but if you attack this way his at guns wouldn't have range um now nice job with the panther luring them around for camera for hanging from the back Fortunately, the Firefly is doing the most damage. Though, nice job with the Vercanimorph for knocking out the Comet. Panther is doing more rounds. Vercanimorph for just kind of chilling, moving back. Uh, yeah, it's moving back. Nice Panzer Faust. Panther might get the kill, but it's very risky. I would rather heal it and then just go after it later. Um, meanwhile, again, we still have all these guys. And, uh, yeah. Additional, uh, again, we have the Commissar moving in. Oh, he kills Vet 3. Good for him. Good kill right there. Oh, wait, no. Yep, I'll get a good kill for the Allies, I would say. Man, he's just pumping out the T-34s like crazy. That is a bit, you know, uh, insane that, you know, he's just pumping out those guys. But maybe that's how he thinks he's going to win this. I don't think so because the Yag's still alive, but... And also, a lot of the fortifications are being pounded in mid. They're fine now, but they took some heat. We'll see how things go. We also, German forces retook the castle. And uh, some... I was going to say, more German forces were taken the south, but that is not the case. Okay. Re uh, Population-wise, it looks like the Allies might... Yes, they still, have, they still have way more troops than the Axis. Meanwhile, Flamethrower unit burning up uh, some of the Axis forces. Pakun, though, be backing up a Panther moving in. Though, again, my symmetry also coming on the flank. They're trying to push in. I'm assuming decap that point. They already have this. Sean might be thinking, or the rationale would be for him to use it or take this point. And uh, once again, he could de crew. Good frag bomb right there. Knocked out the building. Uh, yeah, needs to capture this point. Again, if, if Ace would have done the ability. Hold on. To decap it quicker, he would have at least decapped it so the allies would be even wasting more points than they are. But in any case, uh, command tank opening fire. Might be able to kill. Oh, wow, bounce. Okay. Meanwhile, another British assault down south. Sniper tried to sneak capture it. That's not going to happen. Meanwhile, additional forces coming in. Sean needs to pull back. He's being overwhelmed. He's probably going to lose that. Unless the T 34 is not able to keep. Nope, T 34 is able to keep sight. Artillery bombardment coming in, stopping any capture of it. But again, it'll just be a few seconds and then they can simply move in. Meanwhile, the Comet's coming in. We still have boys' forces down here. Most likely a mass Panzer Faust about to hit this guy, so at least he's stuck. I think we have the Overwatch artillery coming in down south as well. No, we don't. Okay, just random artillery can be down here again. Okay, so... Yeah. Firefly's still over here. Most of that armor, the, the other armor is dead from this British guy. And uh, while he didn't just get a brand new comet, this Firefly is probably not going to see it, if I had to assume. It's going to be close. Very, very close. Anyway, allies need to start capturing points right now, but they just don't have it. I see a lot more armor than infantry, which can be good, can be bad. Again, it has ups and downs. Capturing points, definitely the downside of that arrangement. Uh, meanwhile, Yag Tiger is still guarding over this point with infantry, so most likely the allies won't be unable to capture that. Their best guess might be the castle or the south, but I doubt they're going to move from their position. Chef's like, it wasn't easy, kid. Uh, yeah. I mean, I wonder why. A lot of these... Okay, never mind. This guy got 13 kills. Never mind. Wow. Sean. God damn it. Any case... Um, we currently see here the, yeah, they're just placing units in there. They're just making sure they can't be captured. The British are moving in some forces there, but there's still German ones up here. And we're about to see GG. So, yeah. Yag Tiger's holding him back and actually massacring a lot of T-34s right now. And Panzerstrikes from Panzerfaust is probably going to hit that one. So, probably that would have been a very bad armor push for him. Nice last-ditch attempt, but alas, did not work. In any case, overall damage, yeah, Chef... If we can see here the Riddler, even though on paper you would think, oh, he has all this artillery. He's probably going to get a ton of freaking damage. No, he actually didn't. Um, he ain't got the least amount of all, honestly. The artillery, while it looked intimidating, wasn't as impactful as you might think. Uh, Rig got most damage and most kills, which kind of makes sense. His 
armor was really good s285 t34 etc kind of hitting all targets kv flamethrower as well killing infantry along with the commissar unit and along with penal so overall i could see him why he did that and also we can see here his most aggressive he got 22 captures that game just great job there meanwhile on the axis side profile got most damage makes 100 percent sense his recanimifers in charge in the base while initially bad turned into a great uh flanking opportunity which again some of their the allies did exploit uh, sorry the axis did exploit some of them did not but overall if we look here we can definitely see that uh he a lot of kills a decent amount of kills although the the ally the one thing i'll say is the allies did inflict some serious casualties on the germans but the germans were able to prevail make it through with a clear head and definitely uh hit back at the enemy where it hurts and you know did amazing work i think that first kind of artillery roundup really did help them out along with uh the push into the base and kill a lot of chef's forces and riddler's forces respectively so kind of i'm sorry gore's forces res respectively so that was a good push very good and it goes to show artillery will not help you in the game but in any case guys it's great show one seven i'll see you all next time Hello everyone, before I go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Malam, White Hot D, Desant, Streaking Wookie, Sergeant McPain, Sebastian, Rifle, Pyroshark, Only Play Apples, Lashu, Just Play Thomas, Junior Chicklis, JP Val, Josh, Joey G, Joe Fo, Chris Bailey, Ace, Tim, Nathan Angus, Leonard Liu, Jordan Savat, and Aaron Yi. Thank you all for your amazing support. You're all incredible. Thank you again, and I'll see you guys next time.